I was standing in the tunnel, walking towards one of India's biggest shows on entrepreneurship. The door opened and I was on the podium in front of five of India's most loved, most celebrated entrepreneurs. And they were about to judge me, they were about to fund my startup, or they were about to analyze what I am all about and what my idea is all about. I was on the podium of India's shark tank. Well, I am, hmm, well, now I am right? I don't want you to skip through this video, go to Google, search for my Shark Tank video, and then come back again and know what this is all about. I want you to rather know ki asli vaja kya thi, ki main Shark Tank pe kyun gaya? Kyun my idea got funded? Why I got the love what I got? Why the sharks loved my pitch? And here it goes. So let me just begin by telling you what has been the foundation for the 25 years that has led me to here. And it might be laughable, it might be funny to you, but it's definitely true for me. Yes, it's video games. So I love video games, I've loved playing video games for as long as I can remember. So I got my first PC back in 7th grade. And my father bought it that the child will But what did the child study? A little bit. But what did he do a lot of things? So he played a lot of games. And among the thousands of games I've played all throughout my life, one game just stood out there. It was my favorite game. It was a game called GTA Punjab. It was a game where there was a taxi driver and the taxi drivers were uh, Sadarjis and if you stole their taxi in the game, they would run behind you and say something in Punjabi or Hindi. And it was honestly love at first sight for me. It was the first time I was playing a AAA game where somebody was abusing me in Hindi or Punjabi and that just doesn't touch your body. It is so amazing. Uh, it was truly love at first sight for me. And that is where the journey, the love, the, the romance for gaming began for me. So in 2020, I exited my previous venture and had some money and a lot of bandwidth to start something that was a dream venture. It was to create a virtual world where thousands of people, wherever you were in, in your real lives, you could jump onto this world and experience a bunch of things that life gives you, but virtually. I wanted to create a game that essentially based on two basic beliefs. One is that the game should run on an entry level device, which is a 8,000 rupee device with low computational power, with erratic internet connection, and secondly, a game that was localized in nature, that felt Indian in nature, where there could be thousands of experiences built in virtual worlds, virtual cities that resembled real life locations like a Connaught Place in Delhi, or a Marine Drive in Mumbai, or an MG Road in Bangalore. So when we started building this right, a lot of people doubted us. Even friends and family, they were like, what are you video game? And, and people were laughing at us. Even VCs thought that an Indian metaverse was a, was a very, very difficult task to build. But after a year of struggle, of persevering, of putting all that determination into something tangible, we created the first version of Loka. And this blew the minds of all the non-believers out there, all the VCs, all the friends, all the family who said, ye nahi ho sakta, but ab ho chuka tha. So we essentially created a platform where thousands of people were coming every day. They were interacting with each other. They were watching IPL matches together. They were hanging out. They were going on dates. They were shopping for stuff. They were indulging in bunch of experiences, which they do in real life, but virtually. So when you're building all of this, right, when you're rolling up your sleeves, entering the pit, doing the hard work, doing the dirty work all yourself, God sometimes becomes merciful. And that happened when Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of the world's biggest social media company, Facebook, changed its name to Meta. God was even more kinder because Shark Tank invited us for a session at their sets in Mumbai, where we pitched to three of India's most loved entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs whose product I use almost on a daily basis. 
So people who I saw on TV were now my partners. Aman Gupta from Boat, Anupam Mittal from Shadi.com and Piyush Bansal from The Lens Cart uh, were people now I talk as friends, as partners, as mentors in life. And this truly was a dream come true for me. So what is interesting here? Sabse mazedar baat kya hai? Sabse mazedar baat ye hai that we essentially launched a night before we aired on the Shark Tank, which was on the 3rd of January 2022. And since then, it's been a superb journey. A lot of crazy stuff is happening every day. In fact, we've had 2.5 lakh unique visitors on the platform who spend an average of 20 minutes every day. And what do they do? Well, they do whatever they want. Just take an example of two couples from Ahmedabad who met through our platform, but are now real life couples. Can you imagine that? Also, uh, there are people who, who from different places in India pop into the world as an avatar, go to the auditorium at 10 p.m. and listen to A.P. Tillo and Pratik Kohad songs and just chill and dance for an hour every day. It's free cardio for you. You can dance as avatars, you can also dance in your real world, but you get a feel that you're in a virtual world together with your friends as avatars. And that is what is beautiful. So what is also interesting here is that when we started back in 2020, right, we were a company that was valued at a grand total of zero rupees. Now we've grown up to a grand total of 15 crores. We're on a path, a long path, to creating an Indian gamified metaverse. But it's fun because what wakes me up every day is the fact that I could create something for people wherever they are, whatever they're doing, wherever, what situation they're living in, they could pop into a world and just be practically anything they want. They can do anything they wish. And that is a beautiful feeling to have. So my dear friends, I am Krishnan Sundarajan, the founder of India's first gamified metaverse, Loka. So this was the proposal that got us investment on the Shark Tank, which is India's biggest show for entrepreneurs. So if you like the video, make sure to comment and share with your friends and family. Thank you. Click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss a video from Juice Talks.